tales of dreams and imagination. There are two spirits watching over the world. One, the spirit of the skies, gives light and power to all beings. The other is the spirits of the earth, who gives courage and hope. The two spirits each sent a messenger in order to bring peace to the world. And the beautiful messengers were given special power to protect the people's future. That special power was... Magic. Willow, baby! Oh, yeah! That title screen is, uh... It's something. It, uh... I don't even know if I want to call it a title screen. That screen... It's something. The people were living peacefully, protected by a great magic. Bavmorda, the messenger of the skies, became greedy for power. In arrogance, she decided to conquer the world with her magic. Finn Raziel, the messenger of the earth, realized her plot and tried to persuade Bavmorda to return to the skies. Intimidating faces we have here. But her magic was sealed and she was turned into an opossum by Bavmorda's wicked magic. Ew. Bathmorda declared herself Queen of the World. <clears throat> and started to build up her strength to rule the world. Well, that's no bueno. I guess we'll just have to stop her. Alright, guys. Welcome, welcome in, welcome in. We are back to a game that I technically played a little bit of before. Back on a Fortune Cookie Friday several years ago. I started this game. It's called Willow. It's based on a movie back uh, from back in the 80s. Obviously, this is an NES game. Um, and if I remember correctly, it's a little bit like a Zelda game. Uh, we're going to start this game from scratch, though, even though I have played a little bit before. I probably only played it for like 30, 40 minutes, so I can't even tell you exactly what we did. But let's just press the start button and get started, shall we? All right. Oh, and the game just jumps right into it. Classic NES level of here we go, you know? So yeah, right off the bat, you can tell, has a very Zelda look and feel to it. Lots of good detail going on, which means it's probably got, uh, it was a later NES title. I didn't actually catch the year on the title screen. I totally wasn't paying attention. Maybe somebody who was watching was. But anyway, welcome in everybody. Welcome DJ, welcome Omega, welcome anybody else who might be watching already. Or watching this on YouTube. Um, it said 1988. Okay, so it was a little bit later. It wasn't like a super late game. Okay. So anyway, the storm that I got yesterday hit where you are living right now. It's pouring rain. Well, hopefully it's not too, too bad, Omega. But yeah, it was raining up here pretty good yesterday, but now it's nice and blue sky today. Supposedly it's supposed to rain later, though. We'll see. Anyway, going in the house. Oh, my dear Willow, if you get tired during your trip, come back here. You will be able to regain your strength before you begin your trip you should talk to your neighbor, the High Alduin. He's high as fuck, yo. Unless that's his title and not his name. But anyway, be careful. Sweet. That must be my family, I'm guessing. So I'm pretty sure our character's name is Willow. I've never actually watched the movie, by the way. Let's let's preface that. Never actually watched the movie. I should make it a point to watch the movie. I'm pretty sure they have it on Disney+. Plus. In fact, they recently made a new Willow series to, like, reimagine the game or the game the movie as a series a tv series i think it's just a remake of the movie just like in tv series form didn't watch that either looked good but apparently they canceled it after one season which, whatever that means but anyway oh willow nelwyn's man of prophecy take these magic acorns with you they can totally grow acorn trees they can turn anything to stone so it can't move you have the magic acorns Dope! I'm the coolest. <clears throat> I have acorns of magic. If you come back here during your trip, I will recharge your magical powers. Okay, so he'll re refill my MP. I guess going home will re refill my HP. That's good to know. DJ says he doesn't know nothing about this. Alright, well that's fair. And you haven't watched the movie or the show either, Omega? Fair enough. Alright, so... Yeah. Um... Pause screen goes into this. Right now I don't have a sword shield, magic, nothing. Um, I did get acorns. Okay, now I have magic acorns equipped. There you go. I don't have any other items. This game does have levels, as you can already see. Um, 
So it might be a little more of that Zelda 2 feel with the leveling thing. I'm just wondering if I should leave town right a bit, right away, or if I should, you know, let's just, let's just take a lap. If we end up leaving town without a weapon, I will come back. Zigzag around here and see what we got. Is there another house to visit, maybe? No. That one's definitely blocked. This one we can visit for sure. Alright, what's up, dude? I have heard rumors that a demon is in the village of Dew, just north of here, and has been terrifying the villagers. Well, then maybe we should go to Dew and rid this world of the said demon. But I could use a weapon before I do that. That'd be cool. What's up, dude? Did you meet Vonkar, the best swordsman in the village? He should prepare... He should be preparing the finest weapons for you. Oh, yeah? Well, where's that guy at? Because I need to talk to him. I need I need the best weapons. All the weapons. Is this the guy? Is this, is this the place? That doesn't look like a dude. That looks like a chick. You must be Willow. Weapons and magic items must be in hand in order to use them. So be careful. She's basically like, make sure you equip your shit, noob. Yes, ma'am. Alright, what's down here? Alright, so this is just back to the, the screen where I just was. Nope, this is a house I haven't been to. The house I haven't been to. What's up, what's up? To get to the village of Dew, you must go through the rugged forest just north of Nelwyn. So Nelwyn must be the town we're in. We need to go to Dew, which is north of here. But we have to go through a forest to get there. But first, I think I need a weapon so I don't die on the way. Unless it's up here to the north. Let's go to the left over here. The west. And I'll head north from there, and I'll see where that goes. I bet there's like a Zelda-like map of this game out there somewhere. Anyway, is this the weapon guy? Welcome, Willow. My name is Vonkar. Please take this longsword. You have the long sword. Now I can have a long dick. Hell yeah. It may be heavy and hard to use at first, but you should get used to it after a few fights. Sweet. <laughs> DJ looked up Willow manual and it came up with a result for a breast pump. <laughs> yeah, maybe put Willow NES manual. Maybe that will help. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay, so acorn with that button. I didn't mean to use it. Holy crap. Okay, so the sword has that kind of arc. Uh, that'll get faster and longer, I think, as we get better swords and or leveling up. Right now, I'm only level 1, so my sword swing is weak sauce. It will only get better. It looks like nobody is around. Well, that's just the saddest thing I've ever heard. <clears throat> so I may have used the magic acorn on accident, but, like, should I bother to go refill it already, or should I just move on with my life? I don't know if I'm going to focus on magic acorn magic usage right off the bat. Let's make sure we visit everybody first, though. If anybody's home, apparently nobody's home. The hell? Why everybody gone? This isn't the town that has the demon. It should be the last house on the, in, the, in the village we haven't been to. Hey, it's the old lady. All right. Willow, to stop that mortis magic, you must dispel the curse she put on the Finn Razel. Razil. All right. Well, I guess that's kind of our... Uh, Here's what you need to do in this game if you didn't get it from the intro of the game. You need to get rid of the curse. Okay, so if you hold down forward, you actually do a stab. Okay. If you stop, you do the swipe. If you walk forward, you do a stab. Okay. I'm actually glad I learned that technique before I needed it, because I probably would have done it on accident thinking I was going to do a swipe. Anyway, one last person to talk to on the way out. Hello. You should be able to get to the village of Dew if you keep going north on this road. Thanks. So helpful. Alright, well this should probably be the forest that they were talking about. Ooh, and the music changed. Alright. Hey, okay, we got a banger. Oh shoot! We got an encounter is what we got. Why does the whole world gotta shake around? I forgot that was a thing. I forgot the whole world shakes when there's enemies on the screen. That's weird. Alright, Enco uh, encounter. Experience, I have 40 now. I'm going to assume at 100 experience we go up a level. So, we're going to take some time here in the first section. To just kill and not die, hopefully. Try to get a level up. 
Dude, do a swipe. Oh my god. Do a swipe. Like a poke is fine, but Jesus. This is one of the most needlessly verbose manuals that you've ever seen. Product of being an early NES game, but still. I mean, early. 1988, is that considered early? Also, crap, I forgot when you leave a screen, the enemies just respawn. How very NES of you. Okay, wait, I didn't go up a level. Uh, oh, 150. Okay, so it has a total on that screen. I just need to pay attention to that. Alright, keep an eye on my HP. Don't die. No, I said don't die. It's not that hard to not get hit in this. I'm just... Oh my god. Unless the fucking slime moves too much. Oh my god. Well, I almost died. Hold on. I suppose just being an NES game is early for gaming in general. Yeah. Some of those NES manuals, man, they are packed with information. Some of them. Doesn't matter how in-depth the game actually is. Because the only story you're going to get from a lot of NES games is literally what you get from the manual. So there's going to be story bits, there's going to be extra explanations of things, all that stuff. Anyway, I need to relax and rest because I got fucking wrecked out there, man. I almost died already and I just started the game. I don't want to die before I even get to level 2. Let's hope we can do better this time and not get wrecked. Anyway, they spend half a page just to tell you how the D-pad works. <laughs> hey, this is early gaming, man. Over-explaining better than not explaining at all. Pretend you never played an NES game. <laughs> pretend you never saw an NES controller until you just got... Like, this was the first game you got. Let's pretend, right? Like, it's gonna be... You're gonna be a little bit questionable. Also, damn, look how much faster my swipe is already. Just after one level. Nice. My stab is faster, too. Oh shit, ah. Okay, what do I need for the next level? 300? Let's get that real quick, that's easy. The same amount of experience needed for level two. Uh, oh, or the enemies stopped spawning. Okay, I don't know why that one didn't spawn, but whatever. Take advantage of it while you can. <clears throat> I don't mind getting to level three real quick if I can. Hmm, not sure why those guys aren't spawning, but that's okay. We'll find some more enemies to kill somewhere around here. Somewhere. Anyway, most overall, it's mostly just stuff you already figured out. Like, the two sword attacks. Yeah. Helpful to know, though. If you didn't figure it out, you know? Shit, it's hard to do the swipe on purpose sometimes. You gotta really make sure you stop moving. Alright, two more kills and I should get that level up. Oh yeah, level three already. Ooh, 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 look how fast I chop now. Goddamn, boy. Goddamn, boy. Ooh, damn, we go hella fast now. Let's go. Apparently, when Willow is in the wilderness, the monsters will appear when the wind begins to blow. Whatever that means. I think it just means all the when the screen starts moving, that's where there's enemies. If you didn't notice, the screen's all wavy. Yeah, that just that's just what that means. That we're in an encounter. That's all. Um, I'm actually going to head back, because I feel like this is where I need to go. There was another path off to the left. I want to make sure I'm not missing anything important or not, you know? You never know. I probably have more HP at my disposal now as well if I go heal. Like, if I look at my total HP... Yeah, my HP should be 72 now. It was at 24 when I started, I want to say. Might be behoove me to go heal. My MP is probably higher, too. Yeah, I have 51 MP. Let's go heal. Let's, let's just go heal while we're back here. Um, I will, but I want to actually want to see what this path goes to first. Real quick. Maybe there's an item. Maybe it's a big scary creature. Or maybe it's something I just wrecked the shit out of. That's cool, too. It is a dead end. Okay, well, good to know. Easy game. It tells you what level you need to be to finish the game, if that's ever needed. What level you need to be to finish the game? Uh, okay. I wouldn't have expected you to need to be a certain level to beat this game, but maybe you have to have a certain spell or something to finish off, like, the final boss or something. Who knows? But yeah, don't tell me anything right now. Unless I ask, or if it's, like, a minor little piece of information to clarify something, I'm good right now.
I'm just hoping I don't have a where the fuck do I go type moment too much in this game. It is NES after all. Basically, other than that, there's a blurb about each character. That's cool. Again, I'd probably be more interested if I saw the movie so I could put a face to the character in this game, you know, versus the person who played them in the movie. So I'm sure they tried to portray these pictures, these portraits probably look like somebody from the movie. Not every single one of them. Some of them are probably just for the game, but, like, <clears throat> I don't know if, does our main character look like Willow? Maybe. Does he wear a blue, blue, uh, outfit? I don't know. Is that just for the NES color palette because we're on the green background? I don't know. Probably. I don't want to talk to you again. Did you meet Von Carr? I did, actually. Thank you. So I guess my only other question is, how do I save this game? Is there is that a thing? I mean, worst case, I just make save states. There is a password system. Was there a password on this screen? Not really. I guess I won't worry about it right now. For now, let's go swipe some fools. I'm level three. We can wreck some little slimy boys like it's nothing. Like it's worth nothing, dog. And I think until we get a better sword, it's still gonna take the same amount of hits to hit anything. Cause it seems like even though I can swing the sword faster and stuff, I don't know if my, I don't know if my strength actually went up. I don't remember it being what it started at, but I think it has been the same since. And I have zero defense, which means I probably just need to get some uh, shield to have defense. You know what I mean? Like the reason why my defense stat isn't going up is because I don't have a shield. Let's hope that in our first town that we get to after this, aka Do, maybe we'll actually get a shield there. That'd be cool. Uh, our next level's coming at 710. Okay. Just checking. Bring on the en enemies. I will fuck all of them. Oh god. Oh god. Stop it. That swipe is real, y'all. Oh shoot, these are different. That sandy stuff wobbling around is weird because it feels like that should be not moving like it's sand, but it's moving around anyways. It's weird. It made me think I was gonna walk in quicksand or something. All right. I don't know how much further it is to this dang village, but I think the music changing answers that question. Okay, well, uh, looks like we got directions to go. I'm gonna go that way last. That feels like leaving town. I'll just go straight left first. Yep, first house. Here we go. First house on the left. I am the chief of the village of Du. Who are you? Outsiders must leave immediately. Aw, oh, really? But I, I just came to say hi. Heard you had a demon problem? Alright. Please bring peace back to this village of Do. I'll try. This feels like something I need to do after I find the demon and defeat it. Go around and talk to everybody, maybe? I think that Bogarda lives in the forest north of this village. Who the hell is Bogarda? We have Bavmorda and we have Bogarda. Who are these people? I don't know. I haven't seen the movie. I'm sure Bogarda means something to somebody who's seen the movie. Is it a dude or a chick? I don't even know based on the name. Bogarda? Don't Bogarda my shit, bro. Okay, that's... Wait, 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 wait. Is this the first house I went in with the dude? I want to say it is. That was the second house. Okay. Sorry, I was just making sure I got my bearings here. How many screens I went over. Okay, so let's keep heading this way. I right, got another house to visit. Hello, hello. Another female. The demon Bogarda takes all of the fruit grow takes all of the fruit grow in our village. And our gold and silver too. Oh yeah, all of the stuff that <clears throat> grow in your village? That's unfortunate. So Bogarda's the demon we have to defeat. Noted on that. Bogarda is bogarding all of the fruit and silver and gold. Noted. Okay. I guess we can see what's going on down over here. This looks like we're going back to the forest, but I guess it's just an edge of town kind of situation. 
What's up, what's up? Another old man. So, you have come from Nelwyn. Please rest as long as you need to. Okay, so we found the resting spot in this town. Good find. Good find. I'm just gonna zigzag my way back this way now. Bunch of crossroad screens with nothing on them. So much fun. Nobody home! Sad face. Honestly, I would have figured there'd be no more empty houses than not because of the demon. You know what I mean? Would have made sense to me. Jesus, how many screens does this town have? If you go west from here, you will see a road that goes through the rock mountain. As you go further, you will find the entrance to the cave. Sometimes you can hear a weird voice from inside. Okay. I don't think I want to go to the mountain yet, but I'm assuming this actually leaves town then. Yeah, okay. We don't want to go to no mountains yet. We got to go deal with this Bogard, a demon. But first, I want to make sure I visit all the houses and see if there's any new developments of equipment that I can get or anything. I have heard that Bogarda is the father of the chief of this village, and he was changed into a demon by the wicked magic of Bavmorda. Hey, it looks like you could use this shield. Absolutely I can. Dope. Got the wood shield. See, this is why we explore. You should hear the story from the village chief. Well, he told me to leave, so he can fuck right off. But anyway, alright, so we got the wood shield. Oh, I didn't mean to shoot an acorn there, but we got the wood shields, which means I have some defense now. Yep, 8 defense, 8 strength. We're looking good now. We're looking right nice. Hopefully this is the last zag I have to make through town, and then we can get the heck on with the show here. Some of these villages are really big. So, DJ, if you're listening, uh, quick question. The map. Does the manual have a map? No, no map in the manual? Okay. Kind of disappointing. Not that I need it right now. I'm just curious if it came with the game or anything. The story of Bogarda is true. My father was a courageous and just person before being put under such wicked magic. The villagers have been put through such misery. I will give you this magic heal mace. Oh, dope. This is a valued treasure of this village and is a symbol of a spirit protecting us. When you are tired from fighting, just clutch the heel mace tightly and say the magic word and you will regain your strength. You have the heel mace. Nice. So that's a healing spell, I assume. To go along with my magic acorns. Bitchin. I assume he also refilled my MP there. I think he did. Alright, so if I go to my magic now, I have... Yeah, I got the heel mace. Okay, we're going to stick with the acorns for now. Oops. I didn't mean to unequip my magic. Um, but if we need to heal, we can swap in the heal mace and heal it up. Alright, cool. So in that case, let's head over to where that lady was standing. Over, or the dude, I guess, was standing. He said go north to deal with this... Oh, maybe it was north from the beginning of the village. I think that Bogarda lives in the no forest north of here. Okay. So I'm guessing we'll have to go to the mountain to the west. Bro, I'm just trying to go around you, bro. We'll have to go to the mountain to the west and we're ready to leave this town. But first we gotta help them out, man. We gotta deal with this Bogarda situation. Apparently there's one that came with a Nintendo Power issue, though. There is a map of this game in a Nintendo Power? Okay, cool. Well, that means there's a map out there to look at if I need it. But again, I'm gonna go without it for now. It hasn't been impossible to figure out. But, you know, at some point we may get lost. You never know. It is NES, after all. But anyway, to the forest to the north. Let's deal with whatever we gotta deal with up here. I can just mash the button, get fucked, homies. 710 was my next level up, I think. Look at this thing. Oh, shoot! Wow. 
Didn't even get a chance. Dude ran away. That actually gave me quite a bit of damage, which is no bueno. It's a good thing I have the shield. Okay. You want to see Bogarda? If that's the case, find and bring back the gold statue that the villagers hid in this forest. <laughs> oh my god. You could even see the creases in the scan where it was folded twice. Wow, so the scan of the map that you found online has the folds that you can see in the scan. That's hilarious. So we're looking for a gold statue, y'all. This encounter is kind of annoying because they don't want to die. I'd love to kill more of them. They don't seem to give enough experience to be worth my while. TBH. Got him. Looking for a gold fucking statue. Don't know where it is. Find that fucking shit. I figured it'll be some obvious chest or just sit an item sitting there in the open. Oh god. Okay. Well. I'm assuming we can continue from the last village we were at. Damn. Wow. They unequip all your stuff? That's odd. Okay. Well, I got wrecked. Oh, my experience points went backwards. Well, that's butt. Well, I regret everything now. Whoops. Consequences of actions, y'all. I'm guessing the statue is going to be past that guy. Like, it, it would make the most sense to put it past, like, a big boss type enemy. <sighs> Which means I got to do some grinding, I guess. Dude, fuck off. killing those guys because they're annoying to kill. I'd rather kill the Skellymans. So this is where I found the dude because I don't want to fight him again yet. It is, okay. I don't know if my acorn will work on him, but he killed me in like two hits. So, yeah. Could be a problem. That dude gives 20 experience points. That's pretty good, honestly. That's 100% where the fucking base is. 100%. This is an easy kill. I'll just do this. Easy kill. I kind of just want to get to level 4. Ah, oh, he won't spawn again. What the heck? Spawn again, douche. Shoot, maybe, I'm, maybe this is the way to the statue. Got he. Man, I was so close to a level up. That's so annoying. Damn it. I got lazy holding the D-pad. Got him. Come on, man. I just want to level. How much did this bug give me? I really do want to know. The bug gave me 20 also. That's nice. If only they weren't such a pain in the ass to kill. You know what I mean? They just run away like little bitches. Like little bitches. Oh shit. Got 
Got him. Almost there. 30 more experience points. 10 more. Yeah, I think I've searched this forest enough. It definitely will show up on the next, uh, or when I defeat that one enemy. Alright, level 4 is upon us, bitchin'. Anyway, what's up, Frog? Frog has summoned Country Funk right off the bat. So here comes Country Funk here to tell you how to play Willow on the NES, okay? Okay, let's tell y'all how we do this. First, you gotta walk around in circles and do a little dance like this. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. It's like I'm just doing a caricature just to do a character, caricature of the, of the Southern. I don't even know what this voice is anymore. I feel like I done did not practice this voice for a while, so I feel like I'm a little bit rusty at being a little bit country. I'm more of a rock and roll type myself, you know what I'm saying? But sometimes you just gotta look, get a little country in there. Hit him with a few y'alls. A few draws. Get yourself all the way back to the this village so you can heal up because you hurting right now. If you would have gone a little bit longer in this in this forest right here, you'd be dead. And that'd be a problem. So right now I'm gonna head back over here and give me some free healing. Although this is the incorrect house. This is the one where I could get my magic back if I need it, but I don't need the magic right now. My magic power doing real nice. Let's head on down here to the bottom corner and get ourselves our HP back, you know what I'm saying? HP is how they say it in that, what you call Europe or whatever, right? I don't think so, but maybe. Also, apparently, get full MP and HP for when you go to the to the old man. So that's cool. All right. So my next plan is to go ahead and make a save state so I don't lose progress again. Cause that was unfortunate last time. I don't want that to happen again. I understand there's an in-game situation, but why waste time? Had make me have to re-grind up that level up. That was just super annoying. Why why not take advantage of a save file? Also, accidentally wasting acorns is detrimental to your health, so I recommend you don't do that, okay? I don't know what the fuck this accent is right now, but I'm sorry for its uh terribleness. Jesus Christ. I feel like <laughs> I haven't really listened to anybody do a country accent recently, so I don't have any reference point in my brain. I'm like, what the accent even is this right now? I've been watching the fucking Wire. That's what I've been watching. If you need a gangster ghetto voice, I got you right now, but... Country accent is just not happening right now. But anyway, the Ernest movies. Yes, I have seen at least one of them, maybe more. Uh, I haven't seen them since I was a child but I have seen at least one of them. I, okay, hold up. Let me just put my, my heal mace on. That'll be safer. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, we got his ass, let's go. All right, we Gucci. Whew, you'll find out and come back to you with that info. As in, like, you're not sure if you've seen any of the Ernest movies, DJ? You've actually not seen any of the Ernest movies, though, Frog? Then why'd you bring it up, homie? And, you weren't, and you're not joking just because you're blind. You actually mean you haven't actually seen the Ernest movies just in general. I got you. Never even heard of them? They're kind of like kid movies really like kid kid adult comedies almost 
like Ernest is just a really dumb dude. He's actually the voice of uh, the guy who does who is Ernest in the Ernest movies. He's the voice of uh, Slink the dog in Toy Story, the original Toy Story. Hey, I think I finally got to the statue. I hope you have the gold statue. Exactly what I came for. Fucking awesome. It is a golden image of a human face. You have the light of life. Nice. Is that another spell? I don't know. I was basically doing an earnest impression, was I? Alright, well. It wasn't uh, intentional, I tell you what. Uh, okay. It must be an item. Alright, well we got a magic face. That's cool. I'm cool with this. Got that golden statue. I'm not fighting that guy again. He was he was rough. I'm gonna check this path just in case. See if there's anything interesting over here. Actually, this is the path I came from. Um, I wanna check up here is what I meant to say. That's a dead end. Cool, cool, cool. I'm actually okay fighting these skeletons. They're easy. I'll take the easy experience. Many of the agents on your team in Amazon are actually from the South, Frog. I assume you know that because of the accent they have. <clears throat> they must have some thick accents. If you can tell just by their voice. Um... Okay, so I got the gold image thing. I'm thinking I'm going to go back to this, the town real quick. Just for the sake of getting my magic refilled. Because I want all my MP at my disposal for when I go to the cave and deal with this ba uh, what's his name? Bumfuck? What's his name? I wanted to call him Bath Morta, but that's the main, like, witch bitch we're going after. Balmum. Forgot his name. All right. That's the wheat accent, right? Black like buck wheat. I I have my buck wheat with a little bit of uh, grits. Anyway, you also live in the south, so you can tell I was trying to do a southern accent. I was trying, Omega, I was trying. I don't, I can't, I don't have a perfect southern drawl, but I have an exaggerated one that I can do sometimes. The one I was doing a minute ago was not very good. I've done better. Thanks for calling Amazon, how can I help y'all today? <laughs> hey! Alright. <laughs> I don't know what that extra noise was I added on the end there. Um, I won't get another level until 2,000 experience. Okay, that's fine. I don't need another one. We're fine. Let's get on to the forest. Hey, welcome to the stream, Polar Dash. How you doing today? Alright. We're gonna pop our save state right here. This is a good spot for it, right before we get head back out into the forest. On our way to this cave, now that we have the statue. I did beat Duke Nukem Polar Dash. I finished that game probably like a month ago now. I did all the DLCs, or not DLCs, but you know, extra uh, episodes. That's the word I'm looking for. I did all the extra episodes that were a part of that Mega Ten Edition. But yeah, we had a good time with that. I'm not gonna fight these guys. They're annoying. Oh shit! I seriously need to redeem for a foul mouth granny voice. I mean, I could just be foul mouth when I do the grandpa old man voice. I mean, nothing wrong with throwing in some curse words. This is one of your favorite NES games, Polo Dash? Well then, glad to have you. Bogarda was his name. Bogarda's in this cave. As soon as you hand over the golden statue, you must return here. Ha ha ha! I mean, oh, okay, cool. Um, funny thing is that I'm not sure if it's also a Canadian thing or if Canada... If the Kennedy you watch says it like that for fun, says what for fun? The wheat accent? Wheat. Oh, Canadian YouTuber. I was like, what? 
Got it, got it. My old man, I did the old old lady cursing voice during Breath of Fire 4 and it was hilarious. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed. Time to proceed into the cave and beat up this Bogard a motherfucker. So I can Bogard upside his head with my sword. Anyway, Omega said he grew up playing some Duke Nukem 3D on the computer and you also got the Duke Nukem 3D World Tour version on the PS4. Yeah, that would have been the version I would have played if I didn't have the Mega 10 edition on my PS3 still. I would have had to, uh... Oh, shoot. But yeah. The Mega 10 edition was really nice, though, because I had all those extra episodes that were not on the World Tour edition, apparently. So that was cool. I don't know if I like this dungeon music. It's kind of... Like, it's ominous, sure, but it's not... Not great. Alright, we found a cave. Where'd this go? A cave that leads to more cave. You know what? This feels like I'm on a new floor. Hold on. I'm gonna check the other path. Make sure you check all paths before you head down what I presume was a staircase there or something. Whoa! Whoa! That dude did a lot of damage to me, actually. Punk bitch ass. Okay. Well, I found a cave up in the top area. I'm gonna get lost up in this bitch for sure. Oh my god, there's so many ways to go. I regret not just pursuing my path now. You have the battle sword! I regret nothing. I lied. I got a battle sword. Why would I regret it? It is a solid and fairly heavy sword. You have the light of life. So I think light of life means it heals me after I pick it up. Yeah. What is this game, Frog? This is Willow for the NES. Based on the movie from the 80s, which you may or may not have seen. I don't know how you, how you, how you were, how, how much you were into fantasy movies from the 80s, but anyway, we got the battle sword, which Holy crap, bumps my strength by 14. That seems a pretty ridiculous number. So technically, I did play this before, Frog, yes. Also, my sword swing is slower now, by the way. Um, I did play this before, but I did not beat it. I only played it for maybe like an hour. I think I may have done this dungeon, and that's as far as I got. But yeah, I'm assuming this strength increase is going to be pretty good. I mean, these guys were taking quite a few hits before. Now they're getting swiped. Swiped. Just gotta be careful because the swipe is slow. Uh... The Chibi Fabio. Is that what you call? That's what you call Fa Willow? Chibi Fabio? Son of a bitch ass. Ooh. Ooh, I almost died there, man. That was too close. That was too close. Pop that heel. Am I wrong? The dude's a little chibi five. I mean, is it, he is a little person. But yes. Also formerly known as midgets, but you know, we don't call him that anymore. Because it's politically incorrect. It's just a word, man. Oh, this room. This looks important. I'm glad we found it. Look what's going on in here. Nothing. <laughs> Oops. I really did want to leave, apparently. Zombie! Oh, God. What the fuck? I don't know what that did. Oh, I'm a pig! I'm a pig! I'm a pig! This is not good! Oh, this is not good! I'm pig and I don't like it. Okay, leave me be. I'm out. See ya. What the fuck was that about? I didn't care for that. I didn't want to be Pig. Pig was bad. Pig was bad. Time to bring home the bacon. I was almost... I almost was the bacon. So this is the battle sword I already picked up, I think. Yeah. Just making sure I know where I'm going. So I probably just have to hit up that cave I found earlier. 
But I'm gonna make sure, because there's lots of directions to go here. Did I go in that cave? Heal! I think I have enough MP for one more heal. Make sure we check all the directions before I worry about that other cave over there. So this goes to... More freaking forks in the road. Love all the forks. Oh my god. No, don't pick me. Don't pick me. No! You bitch. Ooh. It's like the eggplant wizard all over again, man. Except for worse, because I can't just leave the screen. Oh, vey. Got him. I'm gonna get lost up in this bitch. There's too many places to go. You said you never want to see one of those things again, Omega, but too late. I already found one. Did I say pygmy? Because that's even more politically incorrect. Is it? Is pygmy more politically incorrect than midget? Well, okay, but I'm not calling a midget a pygmy. <laughs> I also didn't say pygmy. I said pig. I said don't pig me. <laughs> Don't pig me, bro. <laughs> I did say that, didn't I? I was like, don't pig me, bro. Alright, well, those bees are not too hard to kill, but they do damage when you get too close. Good lord! There's a lot of bees on that screen. I'm a little bit scared. I'm a little bit terrified. Because I don't really want to die to these stupid flying guys. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I was trying to work my way back to where that one, uh, the first cave I found was. I want to go there because the fact that I didn't pursue it is fine because I got the battle sword, but I don't also don't want to lose track of where the heck I was at. Okay, it was up here. I don't mind killing that guy because it's a good experience, but Jesus. I don't want to die. I very much don't want to die. Alright. Here's the first game I found. Let's pursue it to the end. For all I know, it's a dead end and it was a waste of time, but we need to know these things. Easy peasy. Wow. What did I say? Could be a dead end and a waste of time. Glad we checked. Fuck! What happens when you die in a dungeon? Damn. Oh, shit. It put me back all the way back here? Okay, so we're going to reload that. It put me back to where I started on level 4. Yep. Alright. <sighs> okay, yeah, that was my second death. But that one we're going to like redcon and use the save state. Because I don't care. But okay, good to know. I'm going to... I'm going to go back to... Uh... I'm going to get back to the cave, and then I'm going to go ahead and save it when I get there, so I have a safe state there. Um, did I finish Minish? Or whatever you just typed? I'm assuming you're asking if I finished Minish, Frog, and yes, yes I did. I did finish the Minish Cap. I did that last week. And then after I beat Minish Cap, I played like four more NES games that I actually beat all of them. And now we're working on another one. That's why we're playing Willow. Alright. So, okay, let's make our safe state here, so I don't have to walk back here. Okay, so, the good thing is, I know where I don't need to go. I lost all my experience points that I was gathering here, but at least I don't. I know where not to go. Crap, 
I forgot it's going to take more chops now because I have to get my sword back. Ah! I don't have the battle sword, so things are more DPCU. You think you prefer Buffy's Willow? Like, the character Willow from Buffy the Vampire Slayer? That's the, the Willow you're talking about? I actually never watched Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Not, not really. Like, I've seen it, sure, but like... It wasn't really my show. Mind you, I think I was like 10 when it started, or even younger. It's definitely around that time frame. Anyway, let me get this dang sword back, and then we'll get on to fighting some stuff again. The battle sword. You will be mine. In fact, I think I'll make my safe stay here, where I pick up the sword. I'm cool with that. It's solid and fairly heavy. And you get a free heal, so that's cool. That's pretty ne neato. Alright, you watched Buffy when it was on Netflix back in like 2015? That's cool, Omega. I still haven't really seen it. I just made a save state in a different slot accidentally. That's okay. Just don't want to lose track of where I'm saving it though. Battle sword equipped. Let's get to it. Fun fact: the actor James Mars Marsters Marsden. Which which what's his name? Mar is that really his name, James Marsters, or is that Marsden? Anyway, who was Spike on Buffy is the voice of Harry Dresden in the Dresden Files audiobooks. Okay. Well, that's cool. That is a fun fact. The funnest. I don't want to kill that bee, but I also don't want to deal with his shit, so he can fuck off. So at this point, I'm not sure where I need to go. I do know of a cave around here somewhere that I saw. This is the one. That's the one I saw. I wasn't sure how to get there, but I figured it out. All right, hopefully this is the way to go. Oh, that's the way to go, all right. Hello, uh... Bogarda. So it is you, the youngster with the gold statue. What? You won't give me the statue? <laughs> Do you intend to oppose me? You pitiful creature. Uh, am I though? Oh shit, the real boss fight begins, y'all. The hardest boss fight I ever had. Gotti! Get fucked, homie. Ooh, and I also got a level up out of that. Hell yeah. Oh, where am I? Oh, yes. I remember now. Please fight for peace. I also feel like I'm younger than my son. That's weird, right? I will teach you the magic of flowing fire. It should be of help to you. You have the magic of flowing fire. Cool. So I got a fire spell? Is that what you're telling me? If you want to know more about Queen Bavmorda, go and talk to Chalindria. Chalindria. Ch Chalindra? I don't know. Chalindria. Chalindria. The fairy who lives west of the village of Dew in legendary Lake Chief. Chief Keith? Alright, well. Success, guys. We did it. We beat uh, the first uh, boss. I, I don't know. Did the first dungeon officially, I guess. Let's make a save here, because we did we did some stuff today.